Oh yeah. Wow. Let's Sick. Go. Fucking go. <laughs> Man, yeah, wow. You really overthought that. Alright, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Alrighty guys, uh, welcome back to another week of Blind Wine Reviews here on the Wine for the People channel. Myself, Noah and Brendan tasting six wines, giving our impressions of them. Uh, some impressions more important than others, but hey, I don't like shit on Brendan like that, so we won't say who's got the more information here. Uh, big thank you as ever to Different Drop for hooking us up with these wines. If you want to taste any of these for yourself, don't forget you can get 10% off everything that we're drinking today. If you follow the link down in the description to the Different Drop page, we've actually got our own little sort of subsection, shopping cart section over on Different Drop. So you can get some discounted wines, try what we're trying, and then you can see if we're full of shit or if we actually know what we're talking about. So uh, definitely do that. As always, there is a theme to these wines, but uh, Lockie's being a bit sneaky this week and keeping the theme to himself. So so not only am I going to taste these ones and try and figure it out, I'm also going to try and figure out what Lockie's hiding from me. So see how we go. But without further ado, let's hop into wine number one. Secret bracket. I don't know what's going on here. So let's um, let's try them. Uh, six wines yet again. We're back at it. Oh my god, I'm, I've lost the plot. I went. I was writing down the numbers with my tasting order. I went one, two, three, six. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I haven't slept properly in weeks. Mm, mm, mm. Straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. It smells like Fiano. It smells like a texture white. Smells specifically like Fiano. I'm 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 already like key to love this. So it's this sort of nutty, hazelnutty, um, acidic, white, winey thing. This isn't my style of white, I'll be completely honest with you. I barely like Ferrero Rocher's because I don't like hazelnuts. And I really like chocolate. And generally speaking, for a white wine to have nutty characteristics and for me to still like it, there's got to be something going on that's really special. Usually it means that there's a bunch of residual sugar in there and it's sweet. That's not the case with this one. So it's not my absolute style of white. Absolute like white nectarin with like a dollop. Imagine, yeah, it's summer. It's breakfast time. Peaches and things are in season. You've decided to buy some white nectarines. Not the uh, the fuzzy kind, the, the, the skin kind without the any fur. You chop it up, you get a great like little Greek yogurt, put some dollops in, chuck those nectarines in. Just crack of a wine and this is like this is the wine that's up my alley uh if if i'm not drinking sort of you know oak chardonnay i.e burgundy uh i'm drinking this one number two all right so we've moved away from dishwashing liquid and we've gone straight into melted down cough lozenges medium yellow got this kind of gold tinge to it as well could be a bunch of different things could have skin contact could be aged could be oaky chardonnay no apologies Yummy, yummy. It's gonna sound weird. This is what I expect from Fiano from like Italy. So I almost think that these are both Fiano. I don't know why. It's got a, like a really fun, like the nose is, is this amazing sort of savory tropicalness. It's like creamy nutty. And you know what nut cream tastes like? Chocolate. Um, that's what I've always said. Yeah, I like this. Oh, it's got this kind of like, like honeycomb pop to it as well. It's got like a nice little interesting flavor. The devil is really in the details here. If you're a wine nerd, this is one to kind of like think about. If you love, love, love wine, this is something you can do. I'd spend about $39, $39 uh, a bottle and I'd buy uh, six bottles of this. I think I'd be looking for just a, that, that complexity on the palate a little bit more. I think it's seen a bit of age, some oxidative handling. Really interesting. I think it's probably Italian. Um, I haven't seen seen much out of France that would look like this. Not even like new worldy either. I think it's quite old worldy. Um, that palate sort of confirms that, but. $33 and I'll have three bottles of it. Not my favourite, but we're improving. We're on the up and up. Number three, uh, skin contact or rosé. That's our, one of our favourite games on this show. Um, definitely, is it, a, is it a light red blend? Is it a skin contact wine or is it rosé? That's the, that's the options here. Um, what I hope it is, is delicious because I love these kind of weird style, don't know what it is, could be anything things. Good wine, great wine, wrong glassware. I'd serve this out of a tumbler then I'll drink a shitload of it. Feels a little alcoholic. M might be like a Spanish, you know, uh, Italian-esque risotto. I, can, I think Tarvel's a pretty pretty, pretty fair shout here as well, like a Rhone Valley something or other. I don't think it's Australian. I would pay, I'd pay 38 and I would buy six. It smells like office supplies. Like literally, it smells like the, um, like the folders aisle at Officeworks. Um, I like that, no? Folders aisle. And Officeworks. Yeah, it's it's like clean and plasticky. 
Oh, chewy tannin, great acid, lovely fruit profile. Simple, steely, but interesting and fun. This is like that kind of wine that I just love to drink on a Saturday afternoon or like a Sunday afternoon or a Tuesday afternoon if I'm not working or if I am working. Maybe I'm lucky enough to be able to have a nice glass. <laughs> My bosses are downstairs, so I better not say that too loudly. Like I would probably consume more of this. Uh, in this context, it feels a little jarring. It feels a little bit weird. I, I don't want to be holding this, holding a stem like this. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be holding it here, you know? Does that make sense? Is that relatable? Probably crazy, rosé time. Now this is this is looking more like it. This is wine number three. Can we, like, mum, can we have rosé? We have rosé at home. This is the rosé. Um, but yeah, <laughs> a really beautiful little rosé here. A dictionary definition, like, you know, thesaurus. No, thesaurus is not a dictionary. Oh yeah, great rosé, great rosé. Half a dozen here, $28. Fresh red berries, strawberries and cream, nice phenolic chalky structure there too. Great acid, simple, fun, approachable, crowd pleasing. It does everything that rosé should do and does it well. It's really interesting. It doesn't look complex. Often we'll align color with complexity. It is complex on the palate. Strawberries and cream, of course, being the predominant sort of driving force here, but there's sort of like little layers of you know, hibiscus flower and uh, sort of like stemmy greenness to this. I think it's a bit of a sleeper. Oh yeah, yeah, it does, straight does. Brendan's gonna know that I like this wine as soon as he drinks it. 12, strawberry, rosé. Um, but I'm gonna grab half a dozen because it's always good to have around just in case you got friends or it's like, you know, you just want something simple. Like simple wines, are all, like even as wine nerds, you just want something that you don't want to think about your taste. You go, ah, yes, delicious. I'd spend probably like 35 Aussie for it and I would buy 12. Of course I'd buy 12. I'd buy 12 because this is a wine that not only I would like to drink, but it's a, a wine that I would like to share with gusto with other people. Like if they're having a good time with this and I want to move on to something weird and esoteric, and just open another one of these for them and I can move on with it. Like you have a much nicer house party when you have a few of these, you know, sitting in the cellar that you can crack out. Um, yeah, crack a wine. Good luck beating that red wines. All right, wine number five. Uh, this looks like prune juice. They both do, they look, both look very dark. And... That's delicious. That's spectacularly good. Like it was, it's a wine that kind of begs you to drink it. Like it was, I, I put it, I uh, tasted it, and then all of these bursts of like cherry, raspberry kind of pop palate wise. And it's just like, oh, that's really delicious. And I could already feel my, my like my sarcophagus. No, no, uh, so, I, did the, I did the Kanye thing. Uh, Man, I've had this one before. I've had this one before. And for, for the life of me, I can't actually uh, pinpoint the variety. Like Shiraz Cabernet. I don't think it's a Cabernet. I don't think it's stemmy enough. Like it's not green enough. I think it's a light Syrah. Light Syrah, and it's excellent, and I'll pay $50 for it. I don't know, it's like, it's it, yeah, again, it's it's very masquerade -y. It could be a bunch of different things, but what it is is just absolutely scrumptious, and I hope it's $42, um, or in that ballpark, sub 50, because, oh man, I could drink so much of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have to top that up for Brendan. We'll see, it's my favorite wine so far. Oh, yeah, 12, 100%. <laughs> And wine number six. Let me just slide over to my office. We're back. Wine number six. Tough act to follow. I wouldn't want to be following those two wines. Let's see how this one goes. Very similar appearance to wine number five. Scrumptious. Uh, bright, chewy, fresh red, red fruits. Great acid, lovely sinewy, chewy tannin. Very pretty, very, very pretty. A Grenache or a Grenache blend, and it's fucking delicious. I would pay, I want to pay like 38 for it, and I'll buy 12, and this is sort of like in those last two wines. It's like tiptoeing between these two for my personal wine lineup. I reckon it's Nero. Nero D. Yeah, I don't think it's Nero. It, it reminds me a lot of the wines that we make up here, actually. It's sort of juicy at the front, and then it's got this sort of slightly harsh finish. It reminds me of last year's Pastafarian that we made, which, again, okay, this is so irrelevant to talk. I'm talking to you now more than anyone else. I'm not talking to the people at home. Sorry, we're just having a bit of a sidebar, me and the cameraman. You know his name's Lockie. I don't know why I called him the cameraman. He's in the room. Um, Oh, just so, the tannin's just so lithe and like, this is my favorite kind of tannin. It's not overtly aggressive, but it just gives you something to frame the wine and like all of these lovely delicate flavors just kind of roll over the top of it. Um, actually, I'm gonna go Gamay, Gamay here. This is Gamay. I think these first, I, I think they are like, um, I think they're like the same variety. I think whatever they are, I think they're the same variety from either two places or two, two um, vintages. Potentially there could be like good vintage differences between this. I think this is a younger version of the previous red. I think this could have like the two whites I think are somehow related. Could be wrong. What do you reckon? 
What is it? Uh, fellas, six more wines. Uh, how'd you go with this bracket? Love it. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Yeah. Big fan. Interesting. Not what I expected and very happy because of uh, that. Nothing less than a six for me. Nothing less. I was I was feeling it. Yeah. I was vibing today. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I've, I've bought a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I took a while to come good with them, but I did really appreciate some of the wines in here. The stuff in the first half is just not my style yeah. of wine. Yeah, but... you needed some ciders. Yes, mm, mm, yeah, mm, big yeah. time, big time. The uh, didn't have the in on what the bracket was this week. Yes, no, we were. We were I like it. Left our own devices to try to guess. It's good, it. bit of flashbacks of the old days. Uh, mm. I went obscure. I thought they were all South American wines. I didn't even have mm. a guess at mm. anything. I just went yum, and yeah. I was just like, <laughs> Lockie, tell me what it is. I don't well, even care. I my theory is that these all have something to do with each other. And I think potentially they're related, like like different vintages of the same. Or same I don't know that. No, no, it's weird. But the same wine. I don't know. These <laughs> these two, I felt there was something here, and these two, I felt there was something here. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So mm. you think it's paired? You think it's yum? I think it's from South America. What was the bracket? It's like? Pairing of yum South American wines. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow. Let's Sick. Go. Fucking go. <laughs> Man, yeah, wow. Really overthought that. All right, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, wow, shit. That's awesome. Jesus. That's yeah, that's, that's hard to do nowadays. I that's haven't awesome. got any of these prices right then. Yeah, I got I, I did one under under 30. <laughs> and I got I got yeah, one under 30 and then one was in the ballpark, but not the, that was it. That's cool. Alright, well one and one seems like a logical place to start. Dope. Yeah. Liked it? I yeah. loved it. Um, as soon as I smelt it, I, yeah. I pulled the, I punched the the Fiano card. I thought it was Fiano. Oh yeah, it's got that energy. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Yeah. yeah, I went Shannon, so I was. Yep. Yeah, I was similar energy. Similar energy. It's like that's actually like kudos to Fiano that yeah. you can like we yeah. can liken it to Shannon. I, I like Fiano is my second favorite white grape variety. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like it. I thought it was really nutty. Like I thought it was this sort of like nutty just through the middle, which I don't particularly like in white wine, to yeah. be honest with you. So we're, we're, we're nuts for that leafy nuts, kind nuts of thing. It. Yeah, exactly. We're so nuts good. for nuts. Um, so you said Fiano, you said Shannon, I said Pinot, Pinot Gris, which is effectively me That's saying, honestly still good mm, ballpark for us. We've nailed mm, it. Yeah, mm. my, I only wanted one bottle because I don't like nuts. You guys wanted half a dozen. Half a dozen and... I, I grabbed a dozen for 40 bucks. 32. I said 44, so it's obviously not going to be that. How much is it like? Bargain. Bargain. Is this one of ours? <laughs> is it one of ours? It feels like one of ours. It feels Could like be. one of ours. Very, very, nah, very I don't think so. I don't think so. Ours. What is it? Blanc. Marga River, I think this might be... Shannon? Blanc. <laughs> I look, it, I, it's at least got some Shannon in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know Blind Corner makes uh, Shannon what Blanc. The bet, what is the bet that this is a Shannon Fiano Pinot Gris blend? That'd be lovely. That, is, that'd be, that would be awesome. That'd be yeah. really nice. I, I know that there's Shannon in here. Uh, but yeah, Blind Corner, amazing. I think it's like one of the largest biodynamic farms in Australia, which is fucking crazy cool. Um, but yeah, for 25 bucks, that's an absolute ripper. Little, you know, simple packaging, simple, like, you know, um, I guess. Dude, Savvy B and Shannon. Savvy B and Shannon. Savvy B and so, Shannon. I'll take Good it. I'll it take is, it. It, it. It's interesting to me, like, every time we have a bracket that we don't know it's cheap wine and then we drink it, we all think it's going to be worth more and more. Yeah. It looks cheap because of the packaging. Yeah. Mm. And that, I think that is so much of like, the, when I'm buying bottles of wine, like, I'll look at something like that and I'm like, oh, no, I probably don't want to. It's so weird how much the packaging affects your mindset when you buy yeah, things. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Numero two. Uh, mm. I thought it was Chardonnay. Yeah. I thought it was 33 bucks and I wanted three bottles of it. Things were on the improve for me in terms of enjoying these wines. I didn't mind it whatsoever. I, I, I'm not too sure. I, I sort of initially, I, I struggle with the variety. Yeah. I struggle yeah, with the variety. It's pretty um, neutral. I just went Chardonnay. It's the same kind of thing as Henry. It's pretty neutral. Uh, I thought like Friulana or something like the The nose is so intense, but the palate's so like lean. Yeah. Mm. Like, like, it was almost like drinking water. Yeah. Which is the reason why I liked it. I actually liked that sort of thrill. I thought, what an interesting white, you know? Oh yeah. No, I had the thing where it's like, you, you could easily just drink this as like a table white. But yeah, it's yeah. great. But then the devil's really in the details. You can like really mm. get sucked in and it's like, whoa, mm. what's mm. going on here? I, I think have no clue what it's, it is. It's the clashes rock the Casbah of wines is what I called it. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, it, like it, it's a boogieable yeah. track. But then you think about the lyrics and it's actually got some really interesting things to say. Um, <laughs> I so that's, love that. that's that was my it's that so was my good. pitch on this one. I quite I quite liked it. I wanted half a dozen. I thought it'd be forty bucks, but under thirty, amazing. Dude, thirty nine bucks, and I did use thirty nine. Didn't think it was worth forty, but I wanted six as well. Yeah, 
<laughs> so what's it actually going to be like? Twenty eight bucks or something? How much was it like? Twenty two. What? It's a really good wine for twenty two. For twenty two dollars, this is awesome. That's a really, really, really good wine for twenty two bucks. That's thrilling. What a thrilling drink. And I thought it was old world. It is old world. Old world. Um, Carol. 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 Uh, 95% Chardonnay. Hey, hey well done. Well done. 5% Gros Mansing. Gros uh, Mansing. Gros Mansing. Yeah, so yeah. Lang now, Languedoc. That's why it's the value that you can speaking get. Speaking of like packaging though, how Gorgeous. ironic. Like, yeah, I would pay yeah. 40, 50, 60 bucks. Oh, it's fancy as fuck. It does. Gorgeous. It does. And if it's not from here. How's it yeah. 22 bucks? Yeah, this is, um, this is French. Um, I don't yeah. understand that. I don't understand yeah, that. How's Make so, in so the, France the Languedoc better. is basically like France's Riverland or France's yeah. California, where it's just like shitloads of wine made quite cheaply, and it's yeah. kind of in variable, varying qualities. But much like those regions, since there's good, uh, you know, affordable fruit out there, great winemakers are going out there and mm. taking the mm. fruit and making them really great value wines. And this is that kind of yeah. thing. And this is like your, this is your Unicos, this is your Dylan Quintes, this is your Ricoteras and things like that. And you can go They've and got get Carol. They've, They've got, got Carol. Carol. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> It's good enough to make a grown man sing. Oh, oh, that is too good. That is my goodness. Where did that come from? I was trying to think of it. Harry Potter and Rock the Casbolt wine. Yeah. I would have taken that one. Henry, are you expecting? Was you it sound like a dad already. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Good anyway. enough to make it grow. Good. Um, so this wine, uh, the nose on this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, at school when you would get given, you, you get whole pile of worksheets and you put the worksheets together into a folder. So you'd have a folder that was ring bound, then it would have mm. plastic sleeves mm. and you'd put them inside. And then the mm. front cover was clear and had all the like diagonal lines across yeah. it. You could scratch it. That smells like the cover of that uh, book to me. It smells like clean and plasticky. I mean, really great I can kind of see that. Yeah. I can kind of see It's weird. I got like the pencil shavings-y thing. So it's like, it does feel like classroom. It does feel like <laughs> pencil shavings is coming through now as well. It's the schoolroom wine. I, <laughs> like. I'm glad there's a category. Yes, yes. It's under. I love the visual. I don't get it. No, I get it. But the idea. <laughs> <laughs> the visual's really. Yeah, no, I, 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 Sorry, I, I, don't I that. Yeah. Listen out. Poor I, you. I didn't scratch it and then sniff it or anything like that. But um, um, no, I thought it was like going into a uh, sort of like a um, like an Indian grocer's. And yeah. Like, yeah. Like all the spices in the air fill the air, and you're like, whoa, that's like a cacophony. And I, I thought that was <laughs> the absolute yeah. opposite. To mine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Tumbler. Tumbler wine. Pine mm. glass. Yeah, wedge, uh, schooner, of, wedge of lemon. <laughs> Camelback. Camelback's good. Camelback's good. <laughs> All right, well, I wanted six. It wasn't my favorite of the, the two sort of rose -y things. And 38 bucks. Yeah. I, remember. Uh, I wanted three for 45. It, I agree, the next one really took my heart. Uh, 12 for 38. I thought this is like magic number juice, like surely. Mm. Mm. Um, Lucky. That is so cool. Do, do you reckon? Do you reckon Spain? Do you reckon like Spain? Oh, who cares? Colour alone made me think. Well, I uh, this is Adelaide Hills. No. I believe this is our good friend, Skin Contact Pinot Gris, Carbonic Gris, Carbonic coming back Gris. to. That is such a joke because as soon as I pulled <laughs> that out in the tasting, I was like, knowing this show, it's fucking Skin Contact Pinot Gris. Right. <laughs> well done. Um, so this is Seven Eves. This is the guys behind um, uh, also Somos. Oh, oh, this oh is cool. Another one of their brands, uh, and it's all Adelaide Hills fruit. Oh, cool. Um, they, yeah, they, I think they, they won like one of show in the Adelaide Hills wine show. For their, well, for their Syrah. Syrah. Their Syrah. And this is yeah. another thing in their um, in their thing, uh, in their cool portfolio. portfolio. Thank you. Okay. Um, one of us sells wine, and it's uh, guess who? <laughs> guess who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, all of us sell wine. All, all of us sell wine. Yeah. yeah. We're all um, on board. Uh, anyways, um, yummy. Yummy for 25 bucks, that does what exactly what you want it to. Yep. Cool. Yep. Disagree. <laughs> this does exactly what I want it to. This yeah. is this is my we're at the footy and we're drinking this. Yeah. And we're drinking it in not see-through cups because we would get bullied for drinking rose at community footy, but <laughs> I would still true. like to do it. <laughs> yeah, the rec yeah, at the Reckling community cup, you need to have some yeah. kind of walled it's cup in a, where it's in a Yeti tumbler. Yeah, 100 percent 100 percent Loved this. Love this. This is exactly what I uh, and given that it's less than 30 bucks. 
Yeah, oh, dang, absolutely. This uh, was look. like Provence all the way, that style. I feel fancy, yeah. like with the stem glass you, there. I feel like I need sardines and yeah. oysters you, and shit. You, you guys are both 100% exactly correct about this wine. That's why I wasn't that wrapped on it. It's just, <laughs> it's just so neutral. It like it yeah. is it is like dictionary it's definition it's kind it's of it's thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know, you, know, you open right. up the dictionary of rosé, that's what you expect. And that's yeah. what's amazing about it. Like, it's a, it's a fantastically made rosé. It's rose, a lifestyle but drink it's like, more than it is yeah. like, a, like a, a fine wine, yeah. I think. I buy this for other people. I buy the other thing for me. Like, that kind of thing. I said the same thing. I said yeah. the same thing. <laughs> You guys so I would buy 12 of this, symbiosis. not because I need 12, but because when I am like through a glass of this and I'm, I want to drink something a little bit, you know, expensive, but I don't yeah. want to share it. Yeah. I just throw more bottles. It's like cannon fodder. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But also, it's like, but also, if you were offered a glass of this, like, hey, would you like a glass of rosé? Like, fuck yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. You drink yeah. it. It's like, oh, it's delicious. That's the that's the great thing about it's it. The it great is... northern of rosé. Yeah, it's the perfect like pouring rosé to have on at your restaurant pub sort of thing. Because yeah. it's not going to surprise anyone. One hundred percent. Every twenty something. Literally, bucks everyone's going to like it. Yeah, I uh, had a dozen for forty, and I thought it tastes like strawberries. Half a dozen for twenty-eight. A uh, dozen for thirty-five. Oh, it's taking the piss. That's yeah, genuinely That's stealing. Aussie? Stealing the year. Aussie? It has to be. It could be. It could be. Wrong you, Nebbiolo. Shut the fuck. How? Nebbi and Pinot. Um, Pinot Noir. How the fuck do you afford to make N N Pinot Noir and Nebbiolo, the two most challenging, expensive grape varieties to grow in Australia, and make that kind of rosé at $22? That's, that's cool. I haven't seen Longview's wines in a while. I'm and they run all their own vineyards. And then sort of make all their own wines. Yeah. So really, really, really smart. Got that, um, yeah. Got that teardrop bottle too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. it. That's, that's really that's, cool. That's wild. That doesn't happen. That, that, that won't happen into the future. Like, get, get there while you can. Yeah, yeah, buy this wine. I don't something. understand why that's so cheap. Uh, Everything about it like feels, you know... Premium. Premium. Not, yeah. It's great. They've done such a great job with that. I think that is the ability you can when you, you farm your own fruit. Yeah. And you like, can. And I'm sure there's like a Sanye thing as well, like mm. making their Pinot and their um, Nebbiolo into kind of more uh, fine examples. Um, like, so you can kind of like... Yeah, wow. Dollar cost average, I guess. But if like you were... Things. So like, you ever bought anything on Wish before? No, not yet. So I've bought a bunch of shit on Wish back in the day and it always looks amazing on the thumbnail and then you buy it and you go, oh yeah, it's cheap and it's going to do the thing that I want it to do. And then you get it and it doesn't look like the thumbnail and it never does the thing you want to do. That does all the things that you want it to do. It's cheap. It looks like it. Like if, if someone yeah. read the list of what that is, like pretty teardrop bottle, what thing. Oh man, I'm so impressed with that bucks. one. 50 yeah. bucks. 40, yeah. 50 bucks. 22. 22 bucks. Tell them you're dreaming. Yeah. Honestly. Like buying some of that. Yeah, do it. Uh, wine at number five. Oh, loved it. Yes. Ripper. Yeah. Absolute ripper. I, I love both the next two, and I'm just taken with both of them, and I don't know which one's my wine to line up, but it could it's, be. It's either one. It's either one. Mm, Honestly, really top, toss a coin. I loved I loved this. Like, it was. I literally started tasting it, and like, you know, I spat out every, pretty much yeah. every wine uh, mm. up until this point, and my body had literally had a visceral reaction of just like, drink. It's whack. Does isn't it, it smell super oaky? Am I wrong? It's like, VA. It's it's uh, it's it's nail polish remover in the yeah. nicest nicest yeah. possible way. Yeah. In the like uplifting, oh like God, you what know, the fuck kind is of. This is so yummy. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess like Val Policella or something like that. Oh my God. What you the guys fuck are doing? Dude. Dude. I was like Val Pol to roll to go, and I was like, this could be like a little Marion Borgo Massalese sort of dealio, hey? Oh, that's, yeah. But that, the Marion stuff like, it's like 40 bucks and yeah. it's worth it. But it's like, that's, yeah. That's, it's I don't know. I just love it. I love it. Yeah, it's juice. Um, I thought it was like a light Syrah or something because I was confused because I thought it was oak on the nose. And I was like, it's juicy though. So it's a Syrah. But um, so good. I said 50 bucks and a dozen. A uh, uh, dozen for 42. And I wanted a dozen for 55. Mm. Oh. And ain't Valpol. There is no $24 bottle. Yeah, not that, not that I've drunk in a while. That doesn't exist. What is this? Norello Masculese at $24 a bottle. Get out of my face. What? <laughs> That. Someone, someone's fucked up. Someone's losing money. There is an importer that's like, like dropped to fucking Fuck yeah. zero. It's like a, like a dyslexic, like, you know, <laughs> like importers just like. That's the decimal insane. Uh, what? Ten Tenuto Orestiadi. So uh, Sicily's like um, there is some heralded things going yeah. on so here. So this is the thing. It's not from Etna. It's mm. IGP. So it's from the rest it's of. Because it's up, up north. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any. Yeah. Anywhere in um, in Sicily, really. I'm probably sure it's probably from all across the island. But 
how the hell do you, like, it's not, like, it's not, it's almost varietally true for Norello. Like, you can kind of see it, then now you understand the context, but it's like, Shit. Jesus Christ. What a wine. What a price point. What a wine. Um, yeah, yeah, no, this is Godfather, Godfather. This is an amazing wine as well, like the, um, the, the next wine, I thought was fantastic too. Um, yeah, scrumptious. Yeah, scrumptious. loved it. It was like Grenache. I, yeah, I called it narrow. Um, Good. Was sitting Good. in that sort of Good. territory. It reminded me a lot of our wines, to be honest, like last year's Pastafarian or something like that, mm. which mm. only had a little bit of narrow in it now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, really into it. I thought it was 38 bucks. I thought I wanted nine of them. I thought some South American winemaker had done a very good job, but uh, <laughs> turns out I was only right about one of those things, maybe. Paolo, you nailed it. Um, yeah. It's like a mint, it's like a slight menthol thing there that gives uh, it a little, like the confected sort of characters, a little bit more intrigue and interest. Um, yeah. Amazing wine. So I thought it was Gamay, um, mm. and mm. I thought it would be like $48, but there's no way it's Gamay because it's under $30. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just ridiculously good. But yeah, you're right, the mentholy thing really sticks out and it's really delightful. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. How I mean, much was it? <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Is it good? What is this? Oh! oh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like, this is this might be the best value wine in Australia. King. Like, honestly. Like, King. it's just unbelievable. For 25 bucks, it's just like... He flies under the radar still, and it's not, like, it makes no sense. And it... Oldest <laughs> Grenache vines in the world. <laughs> the fact, both the, the, this wine is made up with Grenache that is over a hundred years old. Like the two vineyards that are using this are planted in 1906 and 1901, and the fact that it's twenty-five dollars a bottle that is the that is mm. ridiculous generosity. Mm. That and is obscene Marco generosity Cirillo's as well. Like as a winemaker, is one of the most talented and softly spoken. Like he's like he's like he's like a, a beautiful human being, but like we just don't see enough of him. He's an amazing dude. That's so cool. That's yeah, yeah amazing. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those labels that I keep seeing, like the, you know, you guys obviously know what you're talking about a lot more than me, more in the wine industry, but whenever I see this label, it's always like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a banger. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't release anything that's not a banger. No, yeah. doesn't uh, miss. Yeah, that's, yeah, the king. He's indeed. him. He is him. He is he's him. him. Uh, him Pelly. <laughs> <laughs> loved it, great lineup. Um, one of the lineup? That Norello, man. Yeah. That's yeah. just like, that nah. won't ever happen again. That like, is definitely a mistake. Those last three are all excellent, but yeah, yeah I think the Norello is the, the surprise packet. Like, I just never thought I'd buy, be able to drink Norello at under $30. That's wild. I agree That's that. awesome. What do you reckon? Yeah, no, I'm on board. That's the... the it was clean sweep too. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, South, senses. South American Shirah just did it again. Um, nah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us for another week. We'll be back with more wines and more opinions. But until then, have a good day or night, whatever you're watching. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.